against David Rettiner. Now here's Judy, Judy, Judy. Yes, hello everybody. Once again, for the play is the thing. And I have this gorgeous young man as my guest. <laughs> David Retina, who uh, was here before. And I see that they <coughs> didn't give you a title. Well, I tell you, the title would have been so long because you do so much. You write, you are. Uh, interview people, you go here, you go there, you go to parties. Hi, David. <laughs> <laughs> so I just would like to know, uh, last time when you were on my show, you, your dad is the uh, editor and owner of Dan's paper, yep. and you said you're not going to follow in his footsteps. However, I open up Dan's paper and you're all over the place. You write, you write, you write. Uh, yeah, you know, that's kind of my job now. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So, uh, I don't know, I enjoy it a lot. And uh, people seem to like it, so that's why I do it. Yeah, but the main thing is if you like it. Oh, yeah, no, I enjoy it very much. All those different, I mean, your dad writes about three or four articles a week. Yeah, and you are getting close to that now. Well, not really. He writes three or four or five or six even really, really big, long articles. I mean, I have like like two uh, articles that I have to write. Like I do the police Which blotter and, and the 20-something. 20 20 something. And then uh, if I'm lucky, then I'll get an article. Uh, You're lucky, but during the summer you had about also two or three different stories. Well, it's a, stories. Big, it's a big newspaper in the summer. It's very yes, big in it the is. Well, I happen to, I, I can't read everything, but I really look forward to that magazine. There's a lot of funny, interesting things in it. Yeah. And last time, the 20-something, I can't believe what you had written about. That chair, oh, there yeah, is that yeah, chair. Yeah, I'm at it, yeah. The uh, iJoy. Huh? It's a massage chair. A massage, but you all also said that uh, all the different uses <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what prompt you? Uh, I was in the sharper image where they sell it, and uh, oh, oh you man. were. Where is that? Uh, there's one in the city, uh, and I just happened to be there one weekend. And you purchased this? You no, it's too expensive. It's like a thousand dollars. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you tried it out. You uh, you sat in it. Oh yeah, I, I, I you know I could make a career out of going into sharper images and sitting in that chair. We're sharper images. Yeah. Is that a new store? No, it's been around for. Well, actually, I don't know how if it's new or not, but it's a chain. It's a big, you know, it's a big store. It's like where, Kmart. Where is that like located? That. Uh, the one I was at was on Rockefeller Center. I think. Oh, because I, I never I heard, and one. I used to live in the city years ago. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that it's uh, it wasn't there. <laughs> No, it's probably, I don't think it could be more than 10 years. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. So you sat in it and you didn't want to get up? Yeah, I must have stayed in that store two hours. <laughs> and, so, and when the salesperson would come over, I'd, you know, I'd pretend I was asleep or and <laughs> if they tried to talk to me, I, I just, I was just honest. I'd just say, you know, I'm, I'm not going to buy this. Just. Let me enjoy this chair for a little bit. If you think someone's going to buy it, I'll get up. Did you tell him <laughs> that? Did you tell him that you're going to write about it? No, I didn't actually. I probably you should've. should have. Maybe they'll Maybe give you a chair. Yeah, get a chair. <laughs> you should send it to him. Look what I did, and giving him all the ideas what it could be used for and where, right. so he could use it as a sales pitch, right? Yeah, sure. See, I have to think for you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, shall I mention what you said? No, I think maybe you I don't should. even, you know, I don't, don't really remember. remember. I think that was two, that's two or three weeks old, right? No, it's just one week. Or la one week old, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you said... Uh, I don't have a good memory. You even mentioned the, uh, how shall I say, the John, that you should have a seat like that. Oh, yeah. They the shouldn't, toilet. Yeah, exactly. The I John, so the I Joy. Yeah, make up. <laughs> well, that's what sort of shocked me. I, uh... <laughs> but it's 
It's an eye opener that uh, how your mind works. <laughs> <laughs> you go all over the place. Yeah, books. sometimes I get, uh, I have a lot of freedom with that article and I just try to be funny. So. Yeah, I remember once during the summer you, you wrote about uh, the people who worked there during the summer, the young people, mm -hmm. and how you went to the party with them and you were the designated writer, Dri yeah. driver, yeah. and you didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you couldn't drink with them. Yeah. But it was a good article. Yeah. I don't know. You know, people seem to uh, get a kick out of it. I get a kick out of it. So. So the idea it's just fun. comes out of thin air, or in course of your everyday. Uh, yeah. Well, I think about it all. I have a whole week to write. Everyone's like, "Oh, how do you do that every week?" You know, a week's a long time. I think so. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, something usually something funny happens to everybody in a week. I just remember to write it down. You know, okay. <laughs> I'll keep you in mind. A lot of funny things happen to me. <laughs> and this police bladder, you got your information actually from the police. Yeah, you called but, them up. Well, yeah, yes. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Well, I, one of them was uh, the stinky lady. A dispute led into something very serious because uh, the poodle refused to get off the bench. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sad. Yeah, I guess. The hand, this area is very funny with the, there's sometimes really, really funny uh, police stories that happen almost every week, so, or they do happen every week. And so. that lady called those Guy, little young men, hoodlums, because they were on the roller skates. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, or skateboard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a little different than roller skate, but still. Yeah. Well, ah, the police blotter. You know, that. Yeah. Pretty. Uh, all, all, all we have to do is uh, call up the police. Actually, we don't even call them. They fax us over at the info. And you have to pick or we get emails from people one, or yeah because I'm sure there's a lot more than what you write yeah I mean one I mean one time there was a um, one of the employees at Dan's uh, lost their wetsuit on the way to work and they told me like where they thought they might have lost it and uh, I wrote in the police blotter you know oh you know Christian lost his wetsuit on the way to work and he thinks he lost it you know on his way to bridge in Bridgehampton and then it fell in the street. And uh, the next day, when it came, when it got published, the next day it came out. Somebody had called and returned the wetsuit. Oh, it was really cool. So where was it? I guess it was. In, I know where it was. It was in the street, literally right outside Dan's papers, like not on Twenty Seven. So it's how called. did it, he he dropped it as he was carrying it? Or? I think he left it on his roof while he was driving. Oh, he, oh, and then just when like he turned, that commercial. Yeah. Remember that commercial yeah. with the pizza on the roof? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> well, I could see that. People put coffee and things on there and they forget and they just drive off. Mm -hmm. And the purple bicycle, it says, police are the look on the lookout for a giant purple pedal eater. <laughs> the brother well, of the <laughs> purple people eater. Yeah, that's a well, obviously that's a joke. Huh? That's a joke, obviously. Of course, and that that reminded funny, me of a purple mouse. Do you know that I, I write stories and I'd written a children's story for my grandson about mm -hmm. a purple mouse. So <laughs> I was I'm surprised you didn't mention that the purple mouse. <laughs> you got to send it over. I haven't seen it. Yes, I have to send you that story. This was a few years ago when he was really, my grandson Jordan was really little and I gave him a purple mouse and then he loved that toy. <laughs> and uh, there's another one here, boxing. Oh, that was terrific. <laughs> so you went for training? Yeah, I sure did. And it's pretty did wild. Did you think about changing your career, a boxer or writer? Or? Mm, uh, well, boxing is very difficult. Um, and it could ruin I, your looks. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, while I was while I was at the, I went there with the intention of.
getting a match. Not a very serious match. You really but thought you were gonna? Oh, I, I know I could have. Like they told, they told me I was good enough. I mean, it was like for four hours we were in boxing, so and it's I only did the it, movies so. when you think you're gonna win. <laughs> no, well, I don't know if I, 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 I would only want to do like a round or something. I didn't want to, I wanted to do it for fun. I didn't want to do it for, you know, for money. I know. You know, when I was young, uh, I entered a bathing beauty contest. I was in my twenties, and uh -huh. I tell everybody I almost won. The only reason I didn't because I didn't enter. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. the only reason they didn't let me box was because uh, I didn't have some kind of boxing insurance. Or yes, something. It, there's a lot. At least to that's do. what they told me. So. Yeah. I'll believe. I'll believe them. <laughs> so, did you give up on acting altogether? No, we're. Um, no, I'm glad you asked that. Oh yes, yeah. my favorite subject. No, uh, the Springs Community Theater is going to do another play. When? Uh, it's going to be in the spring. And then, so, I don't know when the tryouts are. Right now, in the fall is when everybody starts thinking about what it is we're going to be doing. You, you don't know what uh, title, what well, they they're not. They're not sure. They, they think they might do Guys and Dolls. I kind of hope that they will. But I'm not sure what so they're going to do. So you're going to audition for the uh, Nathan? No, well, no, I don't think <laughs> For so. For Masterson? Yeah. Then no, but uh, they're also thinking about doing a, uh, a, a murder mystery that I wrote. That you had written? Yeah. Oh, I'd and love to see that. It's called The Fundraiser. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, it's very funny. <laughs> it is, I mean, I, that's, I mean, I write, and I write plays and, and stories, but I don't think I could ever write a mystery. Yeah. It's well, it, this is a, it's a comedy. It's supposed to be like a dinner theater. There's six characters. There's the mayor of Montauk, the mayor of Montauk's wife, the pool boy, the, uh, his publicist, the newspaper reporter, and a doctor. And they're all having this fundraiser. And you don't really know what the fundraiser is for. <laughs> and the mayor's wife is, gets murdered, and then all the characters have, uh, you know, motives behind the murder. So then at the end of the play, you kind of have to guess. I'm not going to tell you. No, no, you can't do that. <laughs> well, I don't even know if it's going to happen, to be honest. So I don't even know why I'm talking about it. But we, they are talking about it, and they are thinking about doing it. And you took them to Barbara? Knows? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Janie and but Jane. Janie is she told me she's not doing anything right now because her well, mother is yeah, sick. Well, yeah, exactly. She had like her family problems, but mm -hmm. um, you know, once she, I, I can't imagine the Springs Community Theater without her, and I don't think she can imagine mm -hmm. herself without that group. So yeah, she's a very very nice person. I yeah. I had no dealings with Barbara yet, but Jane. Yeah, they're all just amazing people. Mm-hmm. Really nice. So that's very exciting. Yeah. So and you're good at remembering lines that still uh No, I'm I'm actually really bad at it. I have a terrible memory, you know. It's 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 scary actually. But you um, were in a play already. Yeah, la last uh, last year. Uh last last winter. And you did remember your lines? Yeah. Well, yeah. how did you manage if you have a bad memory? Uh, I w was like in the wings or whatever. I'd repeat them like a thousand times and then oh. out on stage. <laughs> I'd say. I wouldn't know them though. I, I mean, I couldn't tell you what they were right now. So, so I, yeah. obviously it was not a long... No, it was <laughs> like a <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Like a sentence, I was no. in a play like that once years ago when I just because somebody I, I volunteered to do props mm -hmm. and then I was there and somebody didn't show up and asked me what do the play. I said I can't do it I can't remember lines mm -hmm. but it was also similar it was just a it was a two or three act that it was just a little <laughs> And it was fun. I, I managed to do it. I used to travel to the city on the Long Island Railroad, and over there I used to memorize those lines. Mm. But I was really terrified that I won't be able to do it. That, that I think that's the scary part. 
Well, I think a lot of people get scared of, yeah, everyone's got their different reasons for being scared on stage, but that's my Yeah, but it's amazing how mind. they do remember. I just don't know how people do all those Shakespeare when you don't even know what I, to say. That I can't, I don't even know how to do that. It's like a different language. But people do it. Wow. Yeah, it's cool. Yes, how does your dad feel about your uh, being an actor? Oh, he likes it a lot. He loves to be on stage, you know that? Well, I didn't know that, no. Does he? <laughs> well, he was in my uh, production of, well, it's not, it was a reading. Oh, and yeah. he was I don't think I've ever, that, I've never seen him on you stage. You never did? No. I have to show you that tape. Yeah. And it was here. It was here, and he was sitting over there, he's, and then we did it I've again. definitely seen him on more than one occasion, sing at parties, but well, like, on a microphone. Well, he used to, as, as I hear, he plays an instrument, and he was yeah. in a band once, years ago. Yeah, well, the kazoo, <laughs> yeah, and all, I think also the uh, harpsichord. So I, you know, we called everybody so for a little rehearsal, and he could never make the rehearsals. Yeah. He always had some... And then he and I called him up. I said, "You really sure you want to come? I mean, you're not coming to rehearsals." Yeah. He said, "Well, who wouldn't want to be on stage?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to show you that tape. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes. So I want to tell you about. Uh, I started a website. Oh my goodness, that's exciting. Called uh, datehampton.com. It's uh, D-A-T-E, like date, like we're going out on a date. And it's uh, online dating for people that live in the Hamptons. So if you or your friends need a date, <laughs> you can lock on. <laughs> oh, I make sure that I will go there and see who's available. How do you match people? How do you get to people to date? Oh, it's easy. You just, um, when you're on the computer, are you good with computers? No. Well, that's all right. <laughs> I, I'd like you to come over and help me out a little bit. <laughs> you just log on to the internet and go to datehampton.com, which is the name of the site. Well, I understand that, uh, suppose I go online and uh, you're running this, right? Yeah. <laughs> well. So uh, I say I'd like a date. And mm -hmm. what I have to tell you what I would like in a date? Well, you tell, you, you, there's a series of questions at the computer that they can answer. You don't have to answer them, but if you want to, you can... And then how would you find uh, a date for me? Well, then uh, the, the program uh, matches you up with other people that have your same oh, interests. So you already have a lot of callers? Oh, yeah. There's about, uh, there's about 350 people on there now. Wow, 350. Well, I probably would like somebody who's a 351. <laughs> What do you mean, you know, age-wise, you mean? No, there are, uh, gosh, we have... When did you start this? This happened in August, late August. August. Wow. Yeah. You see, you're so talented. I know that you are into many things. Yeah, but that's not a good thing. I, everyone always, I'm like a jack, my old jack football coach trades. used to say that. Yeah, but master of none. <laughs> That's the saying, but you should say the master of some. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. But yeah, no, this website really works, and um, and it's very cool. Are you making money off this? Uh, well, sort of. Not not yet. Um, not yet. Not a, not anything significant. Uh, well, because how do you I'm make money I'm on not, this? You charge people to get on? Yeah, but I'm not charging right now because you um, just want to get going. Mm -hmm. Well, and I so. admire you for doing all this. Is it really? Well, only people who dare to do things get somewhere. Yeah, well, uh, to be honest, that whole thing happened. And it really, I mean, I, when I thought of the idea, I thought it was a good idea. But the whole thing happened because I was living uh, in East Hampton last year in the wintertime. And I was visiting a friend who was raving about this online dating website. And he lives in Manhattan. And um, he's like, you know, it's really great. You just go on and like, you get phone calls and you can call people. It's really easy. And uh, 
I said, well, we don't have anything like that in, in East Hampton at all. You know, it's like, even especially in the winter time, it's pretty lonely. I was like, that's why I'm, that's why I'm visiting you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> and then so I just thought, uh, you know, I just, I told him, uh, you know, if I, well, let me, you know, what's the site and looked at it and base, I really, you know, it wasn't like this revolutionary idea. I just copied almost everything on that site that they that they do um, and there's I mean there's thousands of these sites so it's really not that big of a deal but um, yeah so it's cool it is mm -hmm. it's and what cool. else did you start are you writing a new play or a story or your no. life story no life no. story <laughs> <laughs> why <laughs> 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 well, no, right now it's no, not no, much. No. <laughs> you can't write a thousand pages of your life story. No, I'm basically I'm focusing, I'm putting a lot of energy into uh, the Dade Hampton website, and uh, also Dan, Dan's Papers has a nice new website called DansHamptons.com. And what, what is your part in that? Uh, well, there's a blog, so I sort of edit the blog. Do you know what a blog is? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like, um, well, how, how do you describe a blog? A Basically, blog, that's a new word. It's a new word. It's only like two years, not even a year old, really. Yeah, but how do you it's expect me new. to know that? So I, did, I didn't. That's why <laughs> I, I heard it. Yeah. I heard it. It this just basically means that, uh, no, don't be intimidated by the word, because it's really not complicated, it's difficult to explain, but if you saw it, you'd be like, oh, that's what it is. That's a blog. <coughs> hmm. uh, basically, it, uh, you know, when you're on the computer and you read, you can read New York Times or something like that? Yes. Uh, well, sometimes someone from the New York Times comes up, can come up with an idea, and but it's not part of the newspaper, but since it's a computer, it's sort of an endless amount of of pages that you can make on a computer, right? So they can just think, oh, okay, well, I'll put it up here. And then that's what they call it, a blog. Oh, so I see. it's just sort of... It's perfectly it, clear like mud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot of the uh, computer words that I don't understand. Um, or And I tried to look it up in the dictionary. It means entirely different. Well, you know, it's funny because uh, I've really opened up you know, I felt the same way about computers. Really, did uh, even when I was like, you know, in my you know, seventeen, eighteen. I really didn't like computers at all. Oh, really? And uh, and I just would talk the way you talk. You know, oh, you know, <laughs> witchcraft. You know, I don't know witchcraft. how that works. And uh, I had a roommate in college who was a computer science major. Uh huh. And so he was very cool about explaining things to me about a computer that was just like really relaxed you know what i mean and he didn't what didn't didn't make me feel dumb for not understanding it and then when, when somebody kind of explains it to you uh like anything it's, it's see there's another very, field you could go into teaching computer yeah right <laughs> things <laughs> like yeah. glob blob blog <laughs> I was writing something yesterday. Did you ever hear, there was a movie called The Defiant Ones. Did you ever hear that? The Defiant, Defiant Ones. Ones? No. And I was trying to look that word up. I wanted to use that word. Uh, uh, in the, the stores, on the computer, the dictionary and whatever, they don't have that word. I was wondering what happened. Maybe they just threw it out. There's so many new words, mm. you know. So some old ones. They gotta throw update out. it. Yeah. <laughs> <The words. laughs> well, so they gotta give jobs to editors, I guess. So they gotta update the dictionary, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, I would really love it. some things. Uh, like I want to alphabetize something on mm -hmm. the computer. I guess Forget so many it. people just can't do it, and yeah. I, you know, I really want to write something. There are certain things I don't know how to do, and. I just give up writing because all those information I want is not there, and I start playing games. Yeah. Because <laughs> I get frustrated. Which games? Solitaire? 
Now, actually, it's a uh, what? Is oh, it on what the is computer? Uh, I I have I was going to say Alzheimer's. No. <laughs> Okay. Solitaire, and then there's different kind of solitaires, and uh, yeah, there's all those card games on the computer. Welcome to alchemy. Oh, all right, alchemy. cool. <laughs> I used to play that. You used to play that. <laughs> well, we are uh, almost out of time, mm. and I'm so happy you had a slow season, so you could come and visit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no problem. That's how I, I, somebody got to direct my play because he had a slow season. <laughs> well, everyone that lives out here, you know, during, especially in the winter, they yeah. got to get their project. Something, well, okay, that's it is. great. So I just want to say that we are uh, on the air out here like four times a week, mm -hmm. and then uh, in uh, Riverhead, one time, nights two times at mm -hmm. Hopog and. Manhattan Cable, did you know that? Manhattan Cable on channel 56 or 84, we are pair. And uh, I hear somebody's talking to me. <laughs> and uh, I have some underwriters, the, the Y. Mm -hmm out here and Paul Brennan. You know Paul? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Paul Brennan is a big real estate guy, right? Yeah, and yeah, he also, sure. I tried to uh, get him into show business. He's so good looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, and now we have to say goodbye. Oh. And I try to oh. wave to everybody. <laughs> that's my trademark, waving. <laughs> uh, so it is. So